Hello friends, welcome to our channel Mechanical Motivator. In this video, we are going to see the construction of a parabola. Uh, first of all, we need to understand few basic concepts. This is a cone. In this cone, this is axis. This is called as a generator. And this is the base of the cone. And topmost portion is called the apex. When we cut the cone with a cutting plane, slightly inclined to the axis, then we will be getting a parabola. Before going into the problem, first of all, we need to understand what are the applications where we can see parabola. Parabola can be seen in dishes, solar reflectors, even in bridges. These structures, we can easily visualize the parabolic curve. Construct a parabola when the distance between directrix and focus is 40 mm. So directrix is the fixed line and focus is the fixed point. Draw a tangent or normal 30 mm below the axis line. So we need to note down two details. First thing is we need to find which curve it is. In, it is clearly given that it's parabola. If they haven't given means, if eccentricity value is one, then we can say the curve is parabola. And uh, we need to note down the distance between directrix and focus. So 40 mm. Regarding tangent normal, we will see later on. First step is you need to draw the directrix line to some extent. After that, approximately draw an axis line to the center of the directrix line and name it as A, A dash and directrix as D, D dash. Both directrix and axis line should be drawn with H pencil. Next step is we need to fix the focus. For fixing the focus, we can get the help of the eccentricity ratio. Eccentricity is nothing but distance from focus divided by distance from directrix. F will be denoting focus and D means directrix. Since eccentricity value is 1, whatever distance is AF, that is distance from directrix and focus, will be half of it. That is, AF is equal to 40 mm, then VF will be half of it. So 40 divided by 2, 20. So AV equal to VF equal to 20 mm. So from focus, take 20 mm and place a point, and that point is called as a vertex. Next step is whatever distance you measure between V and F, just measure V and F, you will be having 20 mm. So mark a vertical line upward as well as downwards and name it as G and G dash. So VG is equal to VG dash is equal to VF, 20 mm. Next step is you need to join A and G and try to extend that line and join A, G dash and extend that line to some extent. The next step is from the vertex V, try to divide the axis line with an equal length of 10 mm. So V to 1 will be 10 mm, 1 to 2 will be 10 mm, 2 to 3 will be 10 mm. Likewise, you divide to some particular extent. Then try to name, name it as on the axis, try to name those point as 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on. And uh, the line which you divide right, it will be touching the extension of AG and extension of AG dash. Extension of AG, you can name it as 1 dash, 2 dash, 3 dash. Extension of AG dash, you can write uh, name it as 1, 1 dash, 2, 1 dash, 3, 1 dash, so on. The next step is take your compass. Radius will be 1, 1 dash. So 1 to 1 dash measure, you will be having certain distance and keep your compass at focus. Try to cut an arc above and below in that corresponding line. Similar way, Measure 2, 2 dash and keep your compass at focus. Try to cut that on the corresponding line above and below. Likewise, do for entire thing. You will be getting a getting a slash. After a certain point, uh, the curve will be a straight line, both on top as well as bottom. After cutting it, try to cut the arc very, very lightly because we need to draw only curve right. So no need to draw uh, the curve for a bigger size. Then join all the curves. So join all the arcs. You, you have cut the arc in the corresponding line, right? So just join all the arcs. You will be getting a parabolic curve. So you will be getting a parabola. And uh, try to draw very darkly uh, with HB pencil. So curve should be drawn in HB pencil. Next step is we need to mark tangent and normal. So draw tangent and normal 30 mm below the axis line. So this is the axis line. Take 30 mm and keep your point here. Uh, no need to draw the arrowhead like that. Like this, I will explain. But uh, right now, try to mark a distance. From the axis line, 30 mm below, keep your point. 
now place your scale in horizontal distance and this scale will be touching the curve at particular point and that point is called as a p once again i repeat try to take 30 mm distance keep your point here and place your scale here your scale your horizontal scale will touch the curve at a particular point and that point is called as p so this point p will be 30 mm away from the axis line next step is drawing the arrow arrow head your arrow head should be in the ratio of 3 to 1 it should be sharp pointed one so once again i will tell the procedure how to draw the arrow head first put a straight line like this three different lines then put a one a small line like this so horizontal distance should be 3 and vertical distance should be 1 for all the remaining lines you put a small line like this then try to join the top portion and to the corner and bottom portion the corner for other two arrows also and finally you just darken it this is the procedure for drawing the arrow head and don't follow this next step is join the point p with the focus join point p with focus and f p f p f as base f as center draw a 90 degree line a perpendicular line it will be touching d d dash join p and f and p f as base f as center draw a line 90 degree perpendicular line and that line will be touching the directrix d d dash at certain point connect that point with the point p which you kept on the curve and try to extend to some extent next try to darken it on both left and right side of the p and that is called as a tangent tangent is nothing but it will be touching the curve only at one point then t t as base p as center draw a 90 degree line t t as t t dash as base p as center draw a 90 degree perpendicular line and that line is called as n n dash normal t t dash will be tangent it should be drawn with hp pencil n n dash is normal and uh, uh, it should be drawn with hp pencil <coughs> after completing all the diagram you have to mark the dimensions and your dimension should be outside or away from the diagram so here dimensioning is uh, this is called the, uh, this line is called dimensioning line and this line is called extension line both the line should be very very light and extension line should be 1 mm away from the diagram and uh, this is distance between a and b is 20 so i have to mark like this and your new and your number should be vertically center of the dimensioning line see here 40 you have to break the line and write 40 so this is the distance between directrix and focus so here we for marking the point p we have already dimensioned it okay but finally after completing your diagram try to mark all the dimension so after completing is you will be your a3 sheet will be a bigger size right so you can write the heading this is the height of the text so height of the text should be 10 mm heading should be in 10 mm these are called the subheadings these should be in 7 mm and last all dimensions are in mm and scale only is to one should be 5 mm so uh, just try to represent or present your diagram as neat as possible only your curve and tangent on normal should be dark after completing your diagram you will be getting a curve like this only your curve tangent normal should be dark just like this curve tangent normal should be dark this is just an example uh, so that after completing you will be having a view of your diagram like this please do subscribe to my channel mechanical motivator and press the bell icon then only you will be getting all the videos which i upload if you feel any uh, queries or if you want me to put on your particular topic means just write in the comment section thanks for watching this video have a great day